Hey, what's up everybody? I'm back again. It's been a while since I uh, last uploaded a video, but today I want to give you guys some tip to how to avoid being scammed, especially when you're looking forward to buy the uh, Apple AirPod Pro from unofficial uh, sources, like for example, Craigslist, OfferUp, or any third party um, places that uh, it's not an official store in other words. So anyway, today I'm gonna show you guys what to look for, but the easiest way to avoid being scammed is to try it first. Most of the scam uh, fake iP iPad, oh no, I said iPro, iPro, God, I can't even talk right today guys, but anyway, sorry for that. But anyway, most of the fake AirPod Pro doesn't have the cancellation feature. So if you wanna, not watch this video through it entirety. You can just make sure that when you go buy something from somebody, is to test it out first. That's critical. Because what I'm about to show you is gonna blow your mind. I mean, it's exactly everything as far as the serial numbers and box and all that stuff look exactly like the real thing. But anyway, uh, Without further ado, let me just show you anyway. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick unboxing. Take a look at that, guys. Oh, it looks identical to the real one. This is the fake one, guys. I'm just showing you what to look out for. See that? It has the pamphlet. Everything looks identical. See that? You can't tell the difference. Color booklet, all that stuff. So. Here's the thing, it did it did came with a little wrapping like you always find on a brand new uh, Airpower Pro, but I took it out ahead of time to save some time. But take a look at that guy, so see that? It looked exactly like the real thing. The only and the only other thing that would give it away for it's not being real is just the printing and the the labeling on that actual airpod here. It's very dark in, in, in color or print. Because the Apple, the real one, it is very like light and faded, almost like. But that's one of the giveaway of the fake one. See that? It's pretty dark right there, right? See? And another thing is you can also tell by looking underneath the serial number where it shows. A lot of just the print inside inside there is pretty dark as you can see it's dark it's almost like you can actually read it pretty well but the real one you can almost barely see you have to really like look into it a microphone glass or whatever but anyway look it looks everything looks exactly like the real thing even come to the hinge part and when you look at here this will also give it away too it's the print is very dark as you can see, the real one is very kind of light and faded. As you can see, it's a, it's a symbol in China. Usually, I try to avoid uh, something like this is a symbol in China. So most of the other places that's manufactured from Apple is from like, I think it's from, uh, I think Thailand. The one I noticed that the real one I have is from Thailand. But this one is a symbol in China. Anyway, so, as you can see, it looks um, I mean, exactly the same. I mean, it sounds okay, but the feature that you look, you buying this particular iPad, iPad, oh my iPad, iPro, AirPod Pro, I'm sorry, is the cancellation or the noise cancellation feature. Now that's the reason why you're paying the price for. So you guys want to avoid exactly being or avoid having being scammed is to make sure that you ask them if you can open it and try it. If they if they don't let you do that, then you know it's a fake. Because if they really want to sell that, they'll sell it to you without any hassle or problem, and they'll let you try it out. So avoid being scammed, because they're, they're selling this thing at about 100 bucks, if not 80 bucks, and they can get a fake one here for like maybe 50 bucks or less. So you guys be aware and it's a warning to you guys to 
If you don't want to pay the full price, retail price, then you got to be careful. Um, be careful from being scammed. So, um, so the tip is to try it out. If it doesn't have a noise cancellation feature, which is easily, um, you can easily um, try it out and then click the, I guess the noise cancelling feature on the headset itself. If it doesn't work, it means that it's fake. So I hope this tip helped you guys out there to avoid being scammed. If you like the video, please um, let me know by just commenting or li liking the liking the sub, I would say. And then, uh, so until next time, guys, I'll see you guys next time.